The Absa Cape Epic is a magical African mountain bike race that sees 300 teams of two tackle 620 kilometers and a climb of almost 16,000 meters over eight grueling days. The challenging Western Cape terrain takes them from Cape Town to the grand finale at Val de Vie. Today's stage one starts and finishes in the fruit farming district of Ceres. Stage one is notoriously tough and the distance has rarely dropped below the 100 kilometer mark, but for the 2021 edition, it sits at 98 kilometers with 1,850 meters of climbing. The crux of the ride is known as the dead man walking climb, followed by the treacherous pipeline descent. On the start line in third after the prologue are Canyon Northwave, second are BMC KTM and current leaders in the men's elite category, 91 Songo Specialized with Jordan Saru and Matthew Beers in the yellow zebra jersey. As the gun goes for the first stage of the 17th Absa Cape Epic, the leaders are with their closest rivals, BMC KTM and Canyon Northwave MTB. Both Bulls teams are also at the front, currently in fifth and sixth. They leave series heading off into the rocky wilderness of the Western Cape. In the women's category, Team Salusmed are in third. Second place are Faces CST in the dark red African leaders' jerseys. And Cape Epic newbies, Sina Fry and Laura Stiger of 91 Songo Specialized, are in the orange zebra leaders' jerseys. The start gun goes, and the women's pro category embark on the first marathon stage of the 2021 APSA Cape Epic. Bad luck at the beginning of the race for yesterday's second place team BMC KTM. They have a mechanical problem with their derailleur and lose three to four minutes, then a puncture to follow. They're out of the running for a podium today. In the early part of the men's race, the lead group stays together with several teams in the mix. However, as soon as they approach the toughest climb of the day, Dead Man Walking, it's Team 91 Songo specialized in the yellow jerseys who take the lead and set the pace. They win the Dimension Data hotspot at the top of the climb, followed by Bulls 1, Canyon Northwave and Bulls 2. The chasing group are joined by South Africa's Piga Eurosteel 2, taking the group to a total of four teams. They need to work together if they're going to catch the breakaway pair of Saru and Beers. The leaders are now descending the pipeline single track on the Esofentain farm. These are some of the oldest mountain bike trails in the country. At the 70 km mark, they finally catch the leaders in yellow and all work together to make time on the chasing group. As the leaders approach the finish line in series, a sprint finish is inevitable. For the final 10 km, the pace is blistering. Usuba from Bulls 1 is the most experienced in this situation. It comes down to the final 3 km where they jostle for position. As they round the final corner, the experience of Uber pays off as he and Schneller cross the line first. Closely followed by Simon Stibjan and his partner Martin Fry for Bulls 2. Within the next three seconds, Canyon Northwave and the yellow jerseys also cross the line. It's an incredibly tight race. It's Huber's sixth victory at the Absa Cape Epic and the first for teammate Simon Schneller. The men's podium sees Canyon Northwave in third, taking them up to second in the GC. Second goes to Bulls 2, taking them to third overall. And first goes to Bulls 1, bumping them up to fourth, going into stage two. 91 Songo Specialized managed to hold on to the yellow leaders' jerseys and have almost two minutes on second place. The women's field stay together for the first 40 kilometers of the race and it's Sina Fry and Laura Stigger making the first move on their way to the dead man walking ascent. 46 kilometers in at the top of the climb is the Dimension Data hotspot. 91 Songo Specialized has a lead of 54 seconds on Team Salusmed of Robin de Kruert and Ariane Luti and Team Faces CST in third, one minute and 55 seconds behind. Fry and Stigger keep pushing on the technical descent and the following flat section. The Swiss-Austrian pair keep extending their lead all the way to the finish line and win the stage at the time of just under 4 hours and 35 minutes. Ariane Luthi and Robin de Kruert from Team Salusmed cross the line in second, 4 minutes and 51 seconds behind on today's tough stage. 
The South African duo Mariska Strauss and Candice Lill have a nightmare day on the Western Cape Trails. Strauss crashes twice, but they manage to limit the damage, crossing the finish line in third, just over 12 minutes behind the winners. The women's podium sees faces CST in third, Salus Med in second, and 91 Songo specialized in first. Fry and Stigger extend their lead in the GC to just under six and a half minutes.